SpaceX is well underway with its plans for an upcoming milestone, the second Starship orbital launch attempt. July has been a notably successful month for SpaceX, making significant progress in the preparations for the forthcoming Starship flight. The space company has not only started pouring concrete at the designated site, but also recently conducted an integral test of the water-cooling deluge system. This test comes as part of the important ground tests necessary to gear up for the second orbital launch of the Starship. Following this, SpaceX carried out a pressure test on the Super Heavy Booster, which saw its exterior turn icy as super-chilled liquids were filled into its tanks. In the world of SpaceX, transparency is key. In a recent tweet, the company shared photos of the first stage booster positioned on its launch pad. The spectacular images taken from a unique angle provide an intimate look at the spacecraft. SpaceX has been dealing with a major undertaking following the first orbital flight test that resulted in an unplanned excavation. The company's rocket, in its bid to generate 64 meganewtons of thrust using its 33 first-stage engines, led to the concrete launch pad's unfortunate destruction. This thrust capacity is nearly twice the power of the Space Launch System rocket that NASA launched in November of the previous year. Post the event, SpaceX has been working to upgrade key components of their launch infrastructure. Among these are the launch mount, a critical piece that must be reinforced to bear the immense pressure of future rocket launches, and the orbital tank farm, which houses the fuel and other essential materials for the launch. The water deluge system also suffered in the incident and has been the focus of significant attention in the repair efforts. This system needs to be resilient enough to withstand the enormous power of the rocket engines, making its restoration and upgrade an absolute priority. Despite being in the middle of such intensive repair and upgrade work, SpaceX has made considerable progress. Their efforts have brought them to a point where they can resume testing of the Booster 9. In the coming week, SpaceX could potentially conduct another trial of their systems. This speculation comes from the fact that SpaceX has currently scheduled closures from the 23rd to the 25th of this month. These shutdown periods often hint at a significant event, such as a static fire test. In this case, the test could very well be slated for the new Booster 9. Making it even more exciting, Musk has recently posted images showcasing the next Starship prototype Ship 25 and the forthcoming Super Heavy Lifter, Booster 9. His shares were accompanied by the announcement that these mighty new vessels are well on their way to completion. Even more exciting than the first launch, the second orbital launch has sparked a lot of enthusiasm. However, Musk mentioned that the images of the Super Heavy booster lacked a venting system on top. An essential component for the primary upgrade SpaceX is implementing for its rocket ahead of the second orbital test flight. Starship enthusiasts have recently spotted a new booster hot staging section at Starbase, which has a markedly different design than the previous one. It seems to be crafted with less material but is more spacious, possibly designed to incorporate stringers with the forward section of the booster. SpaceX could also opt to integrate internal stringers and ribs inside the ring, similar to the aft skirt of the ship. Another aspect that caught our attention about the release of the B-9 was its engines. Despite their complex operation, these engines provide greater power and are simpler to maintain compared to the Merlin rocket engines used on the Falcon 9. In light of the first orbital flight attempt, upgrades have been made to the Raptor 2 engine, especially the hot gas manifold that manages heated propellants and oxidizers at high pressure. SpaceX is also processing its latest application for Starship Communications in Boca Chica with the Federal Communications Commission. The campaign is set to kick off from the 27th of this month and will be open for six months. However, the company will also need to receive approval from the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, before proceeding with its next test flight. Notably, SpaceX has joined forces with the FAA in a lawsuit initiated by nonprofits. The organizations claim that the FAA has acted improperly in its review of the Boca Chica test site. Nonetheless, as preparations for the second orbital flight are in full swing, SpaceX is also focusing on future prototypes. Starship 28 was moved to Massey's test site for cryo-testing after a short rendezvous with Booster 10. In the context of the economic perspective, SpaceX is poised to have an outstanding year. 
According to the available information, SpaceX has communicated to its investors that it anticipates a surge in revenue in 2023. The company, which earned approximately $4 billion in the preceding year, is set to double this figure, with projected revenue reaching $8 billion. This monumental increase is primarily due to two factors. The success of the Falcon rocket and the advancements in Starship development. The company's flagship Falcon rocket has achieved a remarkable feat of 49 launches within the span of a year. These regular launches have greatly contributed to the rocket's commercial success. In parallel to the success of the Falcon rocket, considerable progress has been made in the development of the ambitious Starship. Although still in its developmental stages, the potential for revenue generation from Starship is enormous. Another key factor driving SpaceX revenue is its innovative satellite internet service, Starlink. As of this year, Starlink boasts 1.5 million subscribers. Moreover, with over 4,000 satellites of various types in orbit, SpaceX has successfully positioned itself as the largest satellite operator in the world. Musk has always seen Starlink as more than just an internet service provider. For Musk, Starlink represents a critical financial component of his ambitious plan to colonize Mars. He views the revenues generated from Starlink as a primary source of funding for developing the Starship rocket. However, the pursuit of such goals comes with substantial costs. In 2023 alone, SpaceX plans to invest a staggering $2 billion only on Starship's development. This investment, while crucial for achieving the company's long-term objectives, significantly impacts SpaceX's short-term profits. When this massive investment in Starship development is combined with SpaceX's other operational expenses, the company's operating profits for the year are estimated to be approximately $3 billion. This figure, although smaller than what could potentially be achieved, still represents an incredible feat given the costs associated with the development and launch of cutting-edge spacecraft. While SpaceX's financial plan is undoubtedly ambitious, it is also part of a bigger, more visionary picture, one that aims to make humans a multi-planetary species. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more similar content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.